I'm Alicia Sokol. I'm the owner of Bar 3 14th Street in Washington, D.C., and I'm bringing you good moves with well and good today. We are gonna focus on our arms and our core for this workout. So you'll need a set of light handheld weights. You could also use cans from your pantry, bottles of water, anything that's a weighted object. And you'll also want a mat because we're gonna come down to the ground a couple of times and you'll wanna have a surface where you can come on down. Okay, other than that, I just want you to breathe, move, give your body some grace, give it some love, celebrate all that it can do. And at the end of this time together, I want you to feel really confident and strong in the body you have right now, today. All right, let's do this. Feet hip distance parallel, soften behind your knees, level and square your pelvis, draw your low belly in, let your shoulders roll away. Take a big breath, inhale, lift up tall. As you exhale, pull your elbows down like you're pulling cables. Do that again, big inhale, exhale, pull down. One more time, big inhale, and then pull down, let your hands come down, send your feet wider than your hips. We're gonna just bend and lift, nice and easy. That's it, toes are turned out, your weight is in your heels. Knees come right over the tops of your feet, tailbone reaches back, your chest is lifted and proud, and your shoulders are relaxed. We're gonna take our arms back and then forward. Just sweep them back, find your triceps, Move your shoulders and their joints. You can adjust this move. If you have any back tension, staying a little higher, or maybe taking your arms just a little bit lower. Up to you. I'm gonna give you options to take choices for the few minutes we have together. I want you to feel confident and strong and proud of what your body can do today. Option here to take the arms up overhead. Get really tall through your spine. As you sink back, allow your eyes to look down. This is gonna keep the back of your neck long. You'll start to feel your quads and your glutes turn on. You'll also feel your heart rate coming up and your lungs working for you. We have just a few more here. Let your exhale be big. Let's take two more. And then let your arms come over your head and we'll just reach. That's it. If you have neck or shoulder tension, arms come here. Give yourself a chance to notice what's present for you in your body. Take up space with your body, space with your breath, space with your intentions. We have just a few more, and then we're gonna head to Warrior Two, a flow designed to warm up your shoulders and your neck. Four more, last three, last two, last set, open your arms wide and find a Warrior Two. Hold for a second, feel your heart beating. Relax your shoulders. Open your hip, firm your rib cage in and down and dig into your front heel. We're gonna find a flow to move your shoulders. So you're gonna lean to the side, let the arm make a revolution, and then stand tall. You take this at a pace that works for you. So if you're moving a little slower than I am, that's okay. I want you to feel your spine moving, feel your shoulder, moving in its joint. Feel the push of your heel. And maybe you straighten your front leg or maybe you decide to leave that front leg bent and just let your eyes look up. This feels so good. Let's take two more right here. That's it, keep breathing. On this last one, look at your fingertips. Relax your shoulders, take a moment. And then bring your hands to your hips. Let's lunge again. This should feel like a relief. Release for your hips, your inner thighs. Just a couple more. Catch your breath. Let's take four more and then we'll take warrior two other side. Three more. Last two. That's it, last one. Go ahead, open your arms up again, nice and wide. Dig into your heel. Open your hip, firm your belly in. Relax your shoulders. Proud chest, open heart. And then we'll find that same flow again. So you're gonna lean to the side, let your arms swing, but control this motion. So there's a difference between using momentum and using our muscles. So we're gonna to aim to use our muscles today and let momentum just fall away. Feel your spine move, and then take any choices you need to that are gonna make your body feel better. That might mean leaving your knee bent. We have just one more here. 
and then go ahead, look up at your fingers and hold. Take one big breath. Ah, let it go. And then we're gonna lunge side to side again. One more time. Take your arms forward and then squeeze them in. You wanna feel your elbows magnetizing towards your rib cage. This is gonna start to ignite your lats. We're gonna use the lats a lot, especially as we pick up the weights. So we're just inviting them to ignite, inviting them to the party. That's it, breathe into it. You can always take your arms a little lower. Or stack your shoulders over your hips if you feel this in your back. That's it. Catch your breath. You got it. Let's take four more. Last three. Last two. All right, find your weights or your weighted objects. Maybe you've got a set of handheld weights. Maybe you've got cans, it does not matter. You're gonna stand with your feet hip distance and parallel and just sit and stand. Nice and easy. Okay, so look down. Your feet are hip distance, and sometimes we think our hips are a little wider than they are. So I want you to notice where your hip points are. Your feet should be right underneath. Your knees are right over your ankles. In fact, I'm gonna to turn to the side. So you can see I'm lifting my chest and dropping my seat back towards an imaginary chair, like I'm gonna tap it with my butt. Okay, we're gonna add a bicep curl right here. So you're gonna send your arms back and then squeeze. Okay, starting to work our arms. Your biceps as you stand up, your triceps as you hinge forward. Now take care not to let your chest dive forward. Instead, let your butt sit down. So you're still working your lower body. You're working your glutes. And your core is working to stabilize your pelvis. Okay, we're gonna add a little more core work here. You're gonna keep this about muscle and that momentum, you're gonna to start to lift a knee. Woo, like that. Okay, now, if lifting your knee all the way up to hip height is not for you today, you can make it a tiny lift like this. Or if you'd like to keep both feet on the ground, just lift a heel. That works too. Lots of choices so that you can feel confident and successful. That's my goal for you here, is to give your body a little space, a little grace, a chance to feel strong, right? We all want that. Okay, your heart rate should be coming up. I'm starting to get a little out of breath myself. I hope you are too. Maybe you're starting to break a sweat. Okay, a few more, and then we're gonna hold one leg up. Okay, it doesn't matter which, because we're gonna do both. So you can follow me if you're on the other leg, that's okay too. All right, this next time, we're gonna hold the leg up. Okay, so go ahead, hold. Ooh, dig into your heel. You're gonna take your arms out to the side. Okay, listen up. Dig into your heel, lift through the crown of your head, and you're gonna hinge forward, letting your arms come out to a T and balance. You're gonna come in for two, and then reach for two. Okay, now I'm standing on one leg, and this is really hard, I'm wobbling a little bit. Standing on one leg is not for you today. Just drag your toe in, and then drag it back out. Okay, I'll give you the side view. It looks like this. Knee stays over the ankle. Shoulders are doing the work to lift the arms. Okay, you're bringing your hands no higher than your shoulders. This is gonna protect your neck. Any tension in your neck, arms come down to a V instead of a T. Okay, so you can probably feel that you're working your core quite a lot, especially if you're balancing. You're keeping your hips level. We got two more. That's it. And then you have the option on this last one to come to a warrior three. Let the arms hang and then let your chest float above your mat. Bend your knee, square your hips. Ooh, take one big breath and then stand up. Let's find a row. Okay, right back to where we started. Feet hip distance parallel. That's it, we're gonna add a knee again. Okay, so lift one knee. And then the other, find the engagement with your core. And each time you pull your elbows back, you're finding the muscles of your back body, your lats. Okay, so here's something we don't think about a whole lot. The front side of our body is a whole lot stronger, right? Your biceps are stronger than your triceps. Your quads are stronger than your hamstrings. So by strengthening the muscles of the back body, we're helping lift ourselves up tall. Okay, ready? We're gonna hold this leg up, hold it here. Yes, that's it, you got it. Okay, this time, we're gonna set our arms forward and you're gonna pull them in. 
Okay, so it's a big lengthen. Pull it in, find your core. What you should be feeling is the muscles of your back body, the muscles of your low core. Again, you can stay I'm wobbling, toes can stay down. Okay, once again, I'll turn to the side so you can see the shape my body's making. And I want your body to make a shape that feels good for you. Right, what would it take for you to feel successful? That's it, we only have a few more here. Maybe you take a risk, maybe now's the time to float your toes and see how that feels. Yes, okay, we've got a chance to come to Warrior Three again. Okay, let's take two more. I'm gonna turn to the side again. And on this next one, hinge forward and hold. Woo. Dig into your heel, let your arms hang. Soften your knee, square your hip. Take one big breath. And then stand up and find horse pose. Toes come to ten and two. Bend your knees, send your elbows in towards your waist. Relax your shoulders and hold. Nice and slow, we're gonna take the elbows up to shoulder height. Squeeze them in and down. Out to a T, bring it down. Okay, you can keep your elbows lower, making a W shape. Or making a V shape, right? A little bit of alphabet soup for you here. Okay, we're gonna add on some variation. A little controlled chaos that's gonna help you feel even more powerful. So let's lift the heels as we lift the elbows. Woo, that's it. And then you're gonna stand tall as you bring the arms out to a T. Let's do that again. So lift the heels, squeeze the elbows in. Feel your lats, stand tall. Good, you're breathing this whole time. So here's the thing, your body knows how to breathe, right? It does that whether you're thinking about it or not. However, when you draw your attention to your breath and make it conscious, amazing things happen in your body. You're more connected. You can bring more oxygen in to supply your muscles, right, with needed nourishment. Really powerful. You also wake up the front part of your brain, the prefrontal cortex. Yeah, that's really important because that's where we do thinking, that's where we process our emotions. Yeah, so go ahead, breathe big. See if you can make your exhale a little longer. That's gonna allow you to send away toxins, send away tension. Let's take one more set like this and then we're gonna hit the ground. Okay, go ahead, lift up. Go ahead, sink. Stand up. And then set your weights down just for a moment. Put them not far away. We're gonna come on down to the mat and find a push-up series. Hands underneath your shoulders. Step your feet back. Hips in line with shoulders and hold. Push your palms down. You're welcome to come to your knees, your forearms. You can also come to a waist high surface and I'll show you that in a moment. We're gonna take two push-ups, just two. And then you'll lift your hips, stretch your heels back, and then come right down again and find two push-ups. You can do these on your knees if you want. I want you to feel successful. Okay, now, if you cannot do push-ups on your hands for any reason, wrist tension, neck tension, find a waist tight surface. I happen to have a bar here. You can take your push-ups here, and then just send your seat back in between. Okay, waist tight surface, a chair works as well. You find what works for you. That's it, good. Let's take just two more sets like that. Each time you've got a plank in the middle, right? Make that plank count. Here's your last one. Woo, that's it. All right, go ahead, come to your plank and hold for a moment. Your body is warm. Your muscles are on. Can you squeeze your elbows in? Can you lift your belly a little higher? Take one big breath. And then lift your hips, walk your feet towards your hands. We're gonna grab our weights one more time. Okay, we're coming out to a wide stance with the hands and the hips. Take a moment, catch your breath. Are you warm? Are you sweaty? I'm sweaty. Okay, we're gonna continue to work the core, the shoulders, the biceps, and the lats all at once. Okay, super efficient. Okay, we're gonna hold it over to this side. Turn to the side. Bend your elbows, squeeze them in. We're gonna keep our hips low. We're just gonna switch arms, send the toe back. By keeping your hips low, you're getting glute work. You're getting core work here as well. I feel this in my shoulders and my biceps. That's it, good. Hug the elbows in, hug the armpits in. 
We have just a few more on this side. Can you breathe a little bigger? If you're starting to feel a burn in the hip, I want you to really dig in. Stay low. But if you need a little relief, you can stand tall and press back. Try that out. Let's take four more. That's it. Knee stays right over the ankle. Your form is what's going to protect your joints. All right, that's the goal. Strengthen the muscles, protect the joints. Okay, you got one more right here. That's it, hold it here. How do you feel? You got one more side. Bring your hands to your hips, let's just lunge. Yeah, reset. A little intermission, catch your breath. I'm gonna catch my breath as well. That's it, we're gonna hold it to the other side in a moment and take the same motion. Ready? Okay, hold it here. Turn to the side, elbows in, shoulders relaxed, hips low. Pull it in for two, and then send it back. Okay, so here's the funny thing about sweat. It is made of the same stuff as tears, right? Which means that when you release it, it leaves your body feeling cleansed, feeling a little better. Yeah, so think about that. As you're sweating, think about that cleansing. Guess what also is made of the same thing? The ocean, right? The sea. All good, all cleansing. That's it, good. Are you still feeling your biceps? Yes, your lats. Again, if you need a little relief for your hip, you can stand tall and then slide it back. Good, let's take just a few more here. Four more. Good. Three, can you sink lower? Yes, that's it. Two more. Okay, here's your last one. And then bring your hands to your hips again. Let's face forward. Last time. We're gonna let the weights go in a moment and your arms are gonna feel so light and free. It's gonna feel great, I promise. All right, just a few more here. Last four, three, two. All right, last one. Go ahead, sit your weight aside. We're done with them. Just set them right here. Okay, go ahead and come on up. Let's take a quick chest opener. Send your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers, lift your heart. Send your knuckles down. Take one big breath and then let your arms go. We're gonna come to some step taps. So start from horse pose, tailbone heavy, chest lifted and bright. We're gonna step tap side to side, nice and easy. Okay, this is a motion that invites freedom and joy. It doesn't really matter how it looks here, so just let your arms go. Okay, it doesn't have to look a certain way. It can be a little messy. The idea is to move big the way your body is meant to. And let your arms feel free. They should feel really light now that the weights are on the ground. Okay, we're gonna take a little reach across your body. Okay, you're reaching across your midline. You'll feel your obliques turn on. Okay, you're pushing down into your feet. If you have any knee pain, stay a little higher. If your knees are nice and healthy today, really sink down and reach. We're getting our heart rate up. That's it. Big breath. Good. We're coming down to the floor one more time, but before we do that, heart rate goes up, lungs are working hard. Let's take one more sets like this, and I'll give you one more option for your arms. Last two, last one. Option to windmill your arms, just like we did earlier, taking up as much space as you can and being mindful of how you feel. Okay, not how you look. I don't care how you look in this moment. I care how you feel. I want you to feel healthy from the inside out, capable, strong. That's it, couple more here. Let's take just eight to finish, and then we're gonna come down for a plank series. Get your core working, your arms working. That's it, four more. Last three, last two. Okay, before we come down, bring your hands to your heart. Ooh, feel your heart beating, it's good. Connect with this moment of power, of grace, and then let's head down to a plank. Bring your hands to the floor, step your feet back, hold. Push into your palms and soften your elbows. You can come to your forearms, to your knees. You can come to a waist high surface if you'd like. We're gonna add on the mountain climber. Okay, nice and slow. Take one knee to the elbow, bring it back slow, hips level. Opposite knee to opposite, or same elbow. And then we're gonna take some internal rotation. One knee to the wrist, 
and then the opposite knee to the wrist. Okay, you can take a little break in the middle if you'd like lifting your hips, pushing your seat back, stretching your hamstrings, and then come back. We're doing it again. One more time. Okay, knee to elbow. Knee to elbow again. And then bring your knee to your wrist, a little internal rotation to fire your obliques. And then reach back and hold. Take two big breaths here, getting longer through the crown of your head. Lift yourself away from your mat. Tell yourself this moment of discomfort is worth it. And then lift your hips. Walk your feet towards your hands. And roll yourself up nice and easy and slow. Okay, are you sweaty? I'm sweaty. Let's stretch our shoulder. Bring your arm across your body. Shoulder stays relaxed and down your back. Take a few breaths right here. And then take your arm over your head. Push your elbow down and stretch through your tricep. Couple breaths, your heart rate is still coming down. And then go ahead and take the other side. So arm comes across your body, shoulder relaxed. Nice stretch through the shoulder. And then take your arm over your head. Let your fingertips come back behind your neck. Push down on your elbow. That's it. And then let your arms come down. We're gonna finish just as we started. Lift up and then exhale. Lift up, seal your palms over your head. Draw your thumbs to your heart. You sweaty? We did it. Thank you so much for joining me. This was Good Moves with Well and Good. For more workouts just like this one, be sure to subscribe to Well and Good today. I'm Alicia Sokol, owner of Bar 3 14th Street in Washington, DC, and you can find out more about us at bar3.com. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.